When editing audio from a live recording, you may encounter occasional unwanted noises or artefacts. For example, the accentuated finger noise of a guitar, mouth noises, or even headphone bleed-through of a metronome during quieter passages, notwithstanding other noises like clicks and pops. This is when Samplitude spectral editing features can be of great assistance. Spectral editing makes it possible to view your audio as a spectrogram, allowing you to pinpoint these short duration noises. They can then be selected with a special mouse mode and removed. The underlying essential frequencies are then recalculated and rendered into a seamless edit. It's possible to use spectral view in two ways. You can view the entire project as a spectrogram or just the selected individual objects. To turn on spectral view globally, press Y and navigate to Design, View Options and tick the Spectral View box near the bottom right hand corner. Immediately below is a menu where you can choose how the resulting spectrogram is represented. You have a choice between Default, Halv, High Resolution, Black and White, Red or Blue. I find the default setting works well as it lets you view the different frequencies based on the colour, making it easier to spot unwanted artefacts. When you've made your display choice, press OK to exit the view options. Depending on the size of your project, you may find initially there is a slight delay while the objects are updated. Although this slight delay will only happen the first time you invoke spectral view, all audio files will now be represented as a spectrogram plus a smaller version of the original waveform will also be shown above each spectrogram. In the case of stereo audio files, this spectral view will be split into left and right sides. This gives you the extra flexibility to edit out noises which may be on just one side of the stereo image. You can also turn spectral view on or off globally by clicking on the spectral view toolbar icon which is at the bottom of the VIP. There is also the option to enable spectral view for only selected objects. You need to select the object or objects first. Then, to enable spectral display for just the selected objects, go to Object, Object Color Name, Spectral Display. Alternatively, right click on the object and from the menu select Object Color Name Spectral Display. Obviously, if you're going to use this feature on a regular basis, it would be advisable to create a keyboard shortcut. In case you don't know, I'm going to show you how to create a keyboard shortcut so you can quickly turn Spectral Display for objects on or off. First, we need to open the Keyboard Shortcut Editor. To do this, go to the menu item File, Program Preferences, Edit Keyboard and Shortcut Menu. In fact, I have already assigned a keyboard shortcut to open this dialog. Now type in the search box, Spectral Display, and click on the binocular icon. I'm going to assign the shortcut D, which should be unused in Samplitude. I'm placing the mouse cursor in the Assign window and pressing D. Now I'm clicking the Assign button and this keyboard shortcut will be shown as Assigned. Plus it will now appear next to Spectral Display in the menu. I'm clicking OK to close the window. Now when I select an object and use this keyboard shortcut, the view will be switched to Spectral Display. In this example I'm going to utilise the spectral display function to remove some string noise from an acoustic guitar. I'm selecting the object and using my keyboard shortcut to enable spectral display for just that object. The audio is redrawn and displayed as a spectrogram. The frequencies are displayed from bottom to top, low to high. 
There are two string squeaks in this example and they are both on the right side of the stereo mix. I've also added click markers where the squeaks occur. To add markers, first position the play cursor. Then right click in the top half of the grid and marker bar and choose set marker, marker with name. Type in uppercase C. This is important if you intend to use the markers in the spectral cleaning of line editor, which I will cover later on. Next, I'm switching to spectral mouse mode, and this can be done from the menu item Edit, Mouse Mode, Spectral Mode. You can also access this mouse mode from the mouse mode drop down menu of the main toolbar. If you prefer to have all mouse modes laid out in a horizontal toolbar, go to the View menu and click on the Toolbars menu. Then select Mouse Mode Toolbar. All mouse modes are now visible and immediately accessible. It's pretty obvious where the squeaks are, but the spectral display also helps in this respect. You'll notice two fragmented pink areas which coincide with the string noise, so these are the areas I'm going to target. Now with spectral mouse mode enabled, I'm left clicking and drawing a rectangle around the problem area of the first squeak. Doing this will immediately filter out the string noise. I can adjust the boundary area by dragging the selection handles. I'm going to do a bit of fine tuning using the selection handles. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to click the OK tab on the right. The calculation is done and the audio re-rendered. You can now see that the area which was causing the squeak is no longer visible. The string noise has now been removed. I'm now going to do the same with the second squeak. Draw a range around it. Notice when I adjust the boundary, the squeak returns. The spectral display really helps. I am happy with that, so I'm clicking OK to render that area. Let's hear the whole section. 